My name is Faith Upton and I'm here to share what God did in the summer. I went to uh, Yucatan, Mexico this summer. It was just cool there to see like the people and how much God was working in their lives and how like they trusted God. Even though they were in tough situations, like they still, they knew that God was gonna take care of them. That made me want to have that love and trust in that relationship with him. I had prayed that God would give me a desire for him and that I would trust his plans and that was answered at camp. I accepted Jesus as my Lord and Savior. After camp, I have tried to follow God more and his plans for me with Bible studies and just going to youth. I feel like my relationship has grown closer and I can trust him more. One thing that I've seen after being saved is that I need to be more patient with people just as God is patient with me. If you are a new Christian, find someone close that you can trust and that can help you build you in your faith. I'm Sawyer Werb. I'm a senior I'm at Bernie High School. I went to youth group uh, a couple couple Wednesdays into the summer and they were like, hey, we got this uh, this mission trip coming up. A lot of my friends had signed up for it like like a year ago, right? Months out. And so I was like, I definitely missed the boat on that. You know, I, I'm not going on that mission trip. And uh, and and then on Wednesday they were, they were like, well, there's a there's a spot that opened. I speak Spanish, and so it's also always something that I wanted to do. Like going on a mission trip is a way to use that skill that God's given me um, and leverage it for the kingdom. My dad pulled the passport out of the safe and was like, this expires in December, but it should work. And so um, I got myself signed up for that mission trip like le days before the mission trip left. Um, and I, I just, I can't see a way that that would have happened without God. And that's, that's, that's a huge God moment right there. I think what really changed me and what really uh, encouraged me to, uh, to just sell out for Christ um, was the, uh, the prayer. I mean, it was like when something went right, we prayed. When something went wrong, we prayed. And it was just a continual dependence on God, no matter the circumstances. And you know, you hear that a lot. It's written in the Bible, and I didn't really understand it until I actually did it. And we were, you know, living a life down there in Mexico with a bunch of Christ believers. Um, that was like, like we were every day. We were doing things that were for Christ. So coming out of uh, uh, Mexico, I really felt like I had a calling to be a leader. Um, I'm the student council president over at Bernie High School and I've been in multiple leadership positions, but I felt like there was, God was calling me to use that leadership experience to lead people in church and lead people that I saw at school towards what really matters, which is right eternity with Christ. Uh, I, I feel like what, what happened in Mexico enabled me to really uh, step into a Christ-like uh, leadership uh, position rather than just, you know, being a leader in school and then listening at church. For people that you know are, are sitting out there in, in youth group kids um, that are seeing a lot of their friends you know transform into people that that are just look whole, holy like Christ, um, I would tell them like there is no time like the present for uh, you yourself to do that. It's not about you know like some crazy experience. It doesn't have to be. It can be just a conscious decision to read what the Bible says and follow that out of love and and uh, appreciation for what Christ has done for you.